video. So um, I had a fuel leak when I was riding along the other day. Um, not impressed with that, but there you go. So I've located where it is. It's right underneath there. But obviously to get access to it, I'm gonna to have to take the fuel tank off, which you can see that's what I've done. So for those of you that need to do the same thing, um, you've got an M5 cap um, head in there, so remove that one. Then there's an M4 just at front there. And then you come around to the front. Oh yeah, there's two plugs as well. You've got to be very careful of. Unplug these two. Um, one of mine, the head almost come off, so that was a bit dodgy. And then at the front, you've got three uh, M4 caps. So there's one just in there, which has obviously been removed. There was one in there, just at the front. And then there's one the other side. Turn the bike around. So there was one in there. Uh, quite a few bolts, nice little collection, as you can see there. Um, and then you can just drag the tank backwards. But as I say, be careful of these two plugs. Um, there you go. That's what happened when I, I took it off. So you can see the got them hanging down there. So I'm going to have to secure that back in, hopefully. Um, and now I'm going to drain the tank. You can see from underneath, we've got the long uh, fuel line coming down there. And my leak, if I can get to it, is coming from this. This pipe's saturated. So I'm hoping it's just split at the top there um, on this grey plastic connector. Uh, if it is, God knows how it happened, um, but I can just cut that to suit. And put it back in place okay so what i ended up doing was just cutting this because uh, it was all frayed and it was clearly split at the bottom so um, i've push fitted it on and what i couldn't find a jubilee clip the right size so i've just used the cable tie for now hopefully that's going to um, get me up and running and stop it leaking so um, a bit of a quick fix for you so and obviously how to remove the fuel tank Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, in the process of taking off the tank, the two cables which were here were so tight, I snapped it. So um, I've done a temporary fix using uh, electrical connectors and two extensions um, to go into the plug. The other plug was okay, that's just underneath there. But the other one was so tall, it just obviously snapped when I took it off. So this is moment of truth. Will it work? Okay, let's see if it's flashing, no it's not flashing. Okay. Bingo, fit. Um, doesn't seem to be leaking, so that's good. So it looks like we've done the job. It's sending it back to the, it's uh, basically sending it back to the uh, the Amaria depot to get this sorted because last time it took five weeks um, But the best time that you have had a bike so um, Fixed it. Okay, so when putting it back together line up this M5 bolt first Then this one and then you do your two little cap heads Button heads for the front One there One the other side just in there this one in here is very difficult to line up, so I've left it out temporarily at the moment, just in case I've got any problems, but it's working and it's back together. So we'll see how we go. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.